The life of a cartoonist was to be envied indeed. They had the power and the women and the money. <laughs> Hi, I'm Adam Coford. You're probably familiar with LOL Cats. Funny pictures of cats with captions attached? These have their roots in a comic strip invented in 1912. Its creator, Aloysius Coford, was my great-grandfather. He's still alive and he agreed to speak with me today all about the Laugh Out Loud Cats, exclusively for Boing Boing TV. Aloysius or, or great-grandpa, what would you like me to call you? Pappy's fine. Okay, Pappy, thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. I understand you did not want to appear on film, is that correct? Yes. I'm far too handsome. The Laugh Out Loud cats have taken on a new life on the internet, and I'd like to talk about the comic strip. Sure. It's about two cats. A big one named Kitta, and a little one named Pip. Right. Now, Kitta is almost like the straight man of the two. He's always lounging around, smoking cigars. Pip, on the other hand, he's the little one, always having fun. People are falling in love with Kitta and Pip all over again. I'd like to talk about how the Laugh Out Loud cats were born. Okay. In the summer of 1912, I was 22 years old. I had my own syndicated comic strip called the Laugh Out Loud Cats. It was running in 17 newspapers across the United States and one in Guam. So, Pappy, by 1913, you no longer had a career as a cartoonist. What happened? Well, it seems a certain newspaper magnate... William Randolph... Don't say his name. A certain magnate took it upon himself to have me railroaded out of the business. He spread the word that I was a hobo sympathizer. What did you do after that? I briefly roamed the nation as a hobo. One day, I heard the call of the sea. It said... Aloysius! And I said, what? You explored the North Pole? Yes, I was also a walrus hunter, which was perhaps the most gratifying. I hate them so. So, Pappy, did you have any artistic outlet while you were at sea? Well, sure. The boys would all gather around and bring me a walrus tusk and say, Aloysius! Scrimshaw us up a picture of them cats. The boys would be laughing and laughing. Your career as a cartoonist only lasted for a year. How do you explain your productivity over such a short period of time? I do have a secret. Let me show you it. This is the robotic hand I use to help create the Laugh Out Loud Cat comic strip. So, Pappy, what does a 117-year-old man do with his time? Well, the usual shuffleboard, cribbage, and Fark. Fark? As in Fark.com? Yeah. Uh, what's your login? Very old man. Finally, Pappy, I'd just like to say thank you very much. It has been an honor and a pleasure. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we're done here? Walruses are a scourge upon mankind. When I created Garfield in 1972, certainly the precedent was the Laugh Out Loud Cats. The Laugh Out Loud Cats dominated newspaper strips across this country. Of course, for copyright reasons, I couldn't use what's now known as lol speak. If I could have, I would have. Without the Laugh Out Loud Cats, I'd be Jim Davis, creator of Garfield, the dog. These strips raise serious questions. Is this true? Is this real? I thought the cheeseburger was invented in 1934. Can't has is a particularly iconic phrase. It sounds just like a cat trying to talk. Because when the cat comes up to you and says, I can have a cheeseburger, the cat has no lips. Can has. Perfect.